Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. You already know when there's a Gymshark sale coming up, that could only mean one thing, two videos for you. So actually, I was originally only gonna do the one sale video because there wasn't a whole lot of information to give, but since that first video was published last week, I found out some new information that I thought I would share with you guys to help you out during this sale. The more information, the better when it comes to Gymshark sales. So in today's video, we're gonna be touching base on some new information, things that could really help you out during the sale, and then we're gonna be actually talking about some newer releases that I have yet to discuss on this channel. A lot of you guys asked about like the new vital colors and things like that, which will also be on sale. I can't even believe it, but they're making it to the sale. So I thought I would do a little mini review and breeze through some new releases that I have yet to feature. So if you did miss the very first sale video I did last week, check that out. It's a brief overview on what to expect. Some of my top favorites. You're looking at over 1,300 individual pieces. So in case you are unfamiliar, this Gymshark sale is going to be live this Thursday, May 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it will be up to 60% off select lines. Huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Before we go any further, I wanna give a huge congrats to our giveaway winners from the last sale video. I also wanna take a quick moment to apologize for those who got hit up by that damn spam bot. Literally ruining everybody's day, it went down the line, congratulating everybody for winning. This happened a couple times, I would block the one account and then another one would come and take its place, so I'm really sorry about that. But I do wanna thank you guys for entering in on the giveaway. Speaking of which, I don't know if you've seen, but Gymshark's actually hosting their own giveaway. They're giving away a ton of gift cards, and they're also sending the grand prize winner two tickets flown out to the UK to hang out at the headquarters. You get to check out their store in London, lift at the lifting center, and just hang out there in the Gymshark headquarters. So really cool giveaway prizes. I will have that linked below if you wanna check that out. Keep in mind, I am not affiliated with Gymshark's giveaway whatsoever. I just wanted to bring it to your attention just to give you guys more chances to win. So, since last week's sale video, Gymshark has rolled out with a preview sale page. This is super helpful, probably the most helpful thing that you're gonna find for the sale to prepare yourselves. I will have the link to this page linked below in the description box as well as pinned as a comment. You wanna hit up that sale page, you're gonna have a preview of every single item that's on sale. Again, they're not doing the discount thing, so you're not gonna get to see any discounts until the sale goes live. However, what this does enable you to do is to start making your wish list. I'm so happy to see that Gymshark still kept the wish list this year, because last year that was a game changer. Same thing for this year. So what you're gonna wanna do is sign into your Gymshark account, check out that page that I have linked down below, go ahead and heart whatever your heart desires. <laughs> when the sale goes live, make sure you're already pre-signed in, sale goes live, hit up your wish list, check out the discounts, discard anything that you're just like, nah, that's not a good enough discount, and anything that you're looking to keep, just add it straight to cart. This way you're not sifting through the sale, going crazy, and then missing out on things that potentially could sell out. This will just make your life so much easier because if there's anything in life that I know, it's preparedness is your best defense. So drop a comment, what's the first thing you're adding to your wish list? I gotta know, hit up that wish list. And if you find this video helpful or any video in general on this channel, please do consider using my Gymshark link. It is the number one reason that we're able to do these videos for you. And I know I probably sound like a broken record right now, but if you do shop through my Gymshark link, please, please hit me up. Let me know through DMs or comment below, either one. I'd love to thank you personally because it's your support that helps us do what we do here. And I know I said this in the last sale video, but I'm gonna say it again. Gymshark has a really helpful FAQ page from their blog that will be able to answer any questions that you may have. So I'll have that one linked down below as well for you. Check out the pinned comment because that's where I'll have all the links to everything that I'm talking about. And of course, if there's a question that they did not answer that you have, comment down below and I will try my best to answer it for you. So the new news that we're gonna be talking about in this video are the new legacy, new vital, the new strike, what I'm wearing right now. So keep in mind, everything's pretty much launched on the US site. First and foremost, let's talk about this strike, shall we? Now I know this particular line has a lot of personality. This might be hit or miss for some. It's kind of like the what the flex. It's like a little all over the place. I only have the sports bras. If you saw on certain countries' websites, they got matching shorts. Unfortunately, they're not available for every country, including the US, damn it. 
But you know what? It's okay. I feel like with this kind of set, like I said, it's so out there. Maybe it's best I only have the sports bra and then I can mix and match it with more solid color leggings. P.S. Here's a little tip. A really helpful thing to do if you're wondering what's going to match, find the bra you're looking at. So for example, this one's the Alpine Green and the Navy. So you're going to want to go to Gymshark's website, type into the search bar Navy. You're going to see all the items that have Navy in it or just solid Navy. This way you can see, hmm, I have that. That's a perfect mix. Or if you say, wow, I don't have any of these pieces, I don't have anything navy, go ahead, purchase like a training legging or something that'll go with it. This is the easiest way I found to see if you have something that's going to match it. All right, so here's what we're looking at with this sports bra. There's a lot going on, so bear with me. This is a non-adjustable sports bra. It's great, there's no plastic pieces, wonderful, very comfortable. However, I noticed on the back here, there's some spots where the straps are kind of just a little bit loose looking. I would not size down because my small here, it, it's good. I wouldn't want it to dig right. I feel like if I went to an extra small right here would just dig in annoyingly. The sports bra itself is very soft. Like right around here, it's very, very soft. These strips right here are not. So right here has potential to dig in and hurt if you're sized down too much. Overall, it's fairly supportive. I give it a moderate support. You do have removable bra pads. I'm glad that the backing here isn't digging, but like I said before, some of this just comes up a little bit too much, which irks me just a little bit. Overall though, it lays better than expected only because there's so many straps going on that it didn't let me down too much. You have the one thin strap on the left shoulder with the little baby shark head logos. And then you have the long text logo going all the way around. I think it's a really pretty overall design. I like the contrast and I think this is a very unique piece. It's not your typical sports bra that you see Gymshark come out with, put it that way. Again, like what are your thoughts on the overall look of this? I do feel like it's very functional. I know there's a lot going on, but it's still functional and still super comfortable for me. I think it just boils down to number one, do you have anything to match it? <laughs> You can't get your hands on the shorts. And number two, is this something that's a little too spicy for you? Or do you like something with a bit more personality like me? I love things that are asymmetrical. Like the one strap bras are my favorite. So it has really good coverage on the girls, by the way. So nothing's hanging out on the sides here, up and down left and right. There's no cleavage whatsoever. It's just a nice little swoopy design. I think it's really complimentary. I think it's a very pretty sporty look. If I know my girls, I know the number one thing you're looking at when it comes to the new legacy is that bandeau. And I know, and you know, see that new logo on the bandeau. <laughs> this is pretty much the training bandeau with the legacy logo on it. How cool. Now you'll notice, maybe not, which is what I'm here for to bring attention to the fact that they actually changed the logo from the last launch. Instead of it saying Gymshark Fitness, it now says Gymshark Lifting Club. In case you don't know, the training bandeau, <laughs> God, <laughs> it's too easy to rhyme with this. It's one of my favorite training sports bras. I think it's really pretty during the warm weather because it shows a lot of shoulder. It looks like a regular bandeau, but you still got the straps so that it's functional at the gym. We're also gonna be talking about some loose fit shorts. Look at this turbo blue color, it's so pretty. It's like a nice aqua color. We also have a full length t-shirt, which will make for a perfect pump cover at the gym. Kind of hard to see this logo though. The white on it, I don't know. If you don't like that though, they also have some loose fit tank tops. This is really soft, different from the t-shirt. This is more of a cottony base. This is more of that like viscose. It's gonna have more of that stretchy lightweight feel. They have that really nice deep purple logo. This is not black. This is a deep purple logo that will match that bandeau. We also have some crop tops you want to throw over at the gym or just casual wear. Again, deep purple logo here. This is actually their faded lilac color. So we got a little purple action. It's perfect spring colors. We also have the turbo blue crop top as well. What I love about the new legacy pieces is anything goes. You can literally mix and match pretty much any piece and it works. Look at this. Like this I threw on randomly and hello, here we are. You do have the adjustable straps on the back, which is awesome. You got the removable bra pads. It's a very low support bra, put it that way. Just how I like it, just what I need. This kind of bandeau would be perfect if you're working legs, back day, doing some arms, things like that. Not something you wanna wear during hit or anything crazy where you're jumping around. You can rock the Stairmaster. Your, your girls might jiggle around a little bit. My 34Bs are moving around quite some, but 
Then again, I could adjust it, make it a little bit tighter. But again, low support, really good for some girls with small girls. These loose fit shorts are pretty much identical to the last round they put out. Same length and everything, if you remember that. It was like a mustard yellow color. They pretty much put out the same exact thing, but more spring colors now. The one thing I noticed that Gymshark loves to do with the Legacy Collection is chop the logo in half. They did that with these shorts right at the pocket area. They enlarged the logo, but cut it right in half. I do like that look. I think if it was just a real large logo, it's a little too much. But when they chop it, it gives such a carefree kind of style. They actually have done it in the past with their sports bras and I love it. Those were some of my favorite legacy bras where they just cut it right in half. It makes it look like you cut the logo in half because you're that cool. But I am glad that they kept the integrity of the logo, the full logo on the bra. I feel like it just works for this. This way you could actually see that it says lifting club. That's unique. That's different. Plus the bandeau is overall a more dainty sports bra. You know what I mean? So I feel like this works to have the full logo really pristine and put together. A really nice juxtaposition with the logo placement. You do have two pockets. Keep in mind these legacy shorts are just like sweat shorts. There's no lining whatsoever. So you have to wear something underneath. These are on the short side. So look how short they are. I am wearing my true size small. I would not size down only because I do like that little extra room. There's no crotch ride up like some other brands. I know they're loose fit shorts. They just ride right on up and there's no chance in sizing down. Here, I think you could get away with it. You could. Keep in mind, these are pretty short as it is. So if you size down, I mean, I think I think my booty would just be hanging right out. These are a lot softer inside than say the rest day shorts, which are like pretty much that real heavy terry cotton kind of feel. These have a little more plushness to it without being that overly soft plush where you wouldn't stand a chance in working out in them. These I feel like you could get away with working out in if you really wanted to. I wouldn't because I mean, I feel like peekaboo all over here. Uh, but going for walks and casual things, I would absolutely rock these with. So like I said, these are the Turbo Blue. This is the Cucumber Green tank. Now you can see side by side how different they are. This is totally that like faded lime green, and this is more of an aqua blue. So as you can see, that rich purple matches perfectly with the logo right here. Check it. This is so lightweight. These are my favorite kind of tank tops to wear in the summertime because you got that real drop sleeve right here. So it's not suffocating your armpits. Nice and breathable. It's so lightweight. That viscose, it just makes it really just a soft wear altogether. You can totally size down in this if you wanted to. I wouldn't size down. I'm happy with my small. Plus I feel like that oversized look is just so in right now when it comes to pump covers and things like that. Anything you throw over the baggier, the better nowadays. That's trending as hell. And speaking of which, this is the perfect pump cover right here. If you're looking for one, wearing this to the gym with some tight shorts. Hell yeah. This is a small. If you want, you can stick to your true size. It's gonna be a really nice oversized pump cover, a really great sleep shirt. It's very comfortable and soft. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really wear crazy pump covers to the gym. I never got onto that bandwagon of pump covers. <laughs> I like to see as much body as I can in the mirror. <laughs> I have a strange feeling though that Bay is gonna snag this from me. I just know it. Now keep in mind this is 100% cotton. I don't really see it shrinking a whole lot. Perhaps it will. And call me crazy, but this does not feel like 100% cotton. This feels like there's like polyester in it a little bit, just a tiny bit, because there's a good amount of stretch. Usually cotton's not that stretchy and it feels pretty breathable and light compared to super dense 100% cotton. So what's going on Gymshark? Tell me your secrets here. What kind of cotton you finding? Faded lilac. So this is a boxy cut right here. So whereas the tanks and tees have the massive logo, if you're not a fan of that huge logo, maybe grab one of the crop tops because they really, they, they shrunk that right down. Because I know that big bold branding, too much in your face is hit or miss for some people. I know you guys said that about the KK fit, a little too much. But this right here, this might do it for you. What sold me on this color in particular, really pretty purple, but you have that beautiful contrast of the rich purple logo. Whereas say the turbo blue crop top, you have the white logo that's barely visible. Like you wouldn't even, from far away, you wouldn't even know there's an actual legacy logo. I wanna make note that the sleeves here are sewn as if they're flipped up which gives it like that look like you did it yourself where you just rolled it up. It adds a little bit of character to a super basic crop top. You could definitely size down in this if you want a little less of that massive boxy look. I'm actually shook at how many people use the Vital 2.0 as their giveaway entry last week. That's your favorite collection, huh? 
Okay, good to know. I know when the Vital 2.0 rolled out, it was a lot of hit or miss. Everyone's like, oh, I miss the old one, I miss the OG Vital. I do feel the same way in certain ways. But you know what? I'm glad to see that so many people are still loving the new Vital. So right here we have the Moonstone Blue Marl, which totally looks like a faded purple, mind you, because the Moonstone Blue in general, way more blue. The fact that this is a Marl, it just faded it right out, looking like a real pale purple. And then you have the Sorbet Pink. If these are just so perfect for the season, I don't know what is. I know a big critique of Gymshark lately is where are the spring colors? Well, between the new Legacy and the Vital, they redeemed themselves. Ugh, I just bit my lip. They redeemed themselves. The Sorbet Pink is very straightforward. It is pink. You got the dotted Vital contour. That's also pink, right? Very subtle. Love it. However, my favorite is the Moonstone Blue Marl because it's a little bit different. If you look closely, the subtle dotted contour is actually the sorbet pink so you can mix and match these perfectly this is such a pretty combination the contour being the pink it looks like the candy that i used to eat off that white sheet of paper those little dot candies what are they called it just reminds me of that it looks delicious as hell if you guys are wondering whether the faded lilac legacy crop top goes with the new moonstone marl vital here's what we got going on this is like a shade lighter but it's so close it hurts to death you can make this work can't you can't you speaking of mix and matching i actually put this outfit in stories you guys loved it the rich purple legacy bandeau with the moonstone marl how about it now i don't know if it's because i'm kind of getting a little bit thicker <laughs> <laughs> if you watch me, you would know like I'm, I'm like in the medium phase. So I think it's because I've been gaining, to be honest with you, I'm gaining a little bit of weight in some areas here. And I think I'm filling out the vital better because my small, like a year or two ago in the vital 2.0, I used to have so much wrinkle here. It used to just kind of fit a little more like where it looked like there was some bag to it. Now my small, I feel like I'm just feeling it out. So with that being said, if your measurements are the same as mine, if you're in the medium phase, maybe size on down into the small because ever since I'm filling it out, I, I now find the small to just, the vital is just super flattering now. Perhaps if you're experiencing a ton of that wrinkle going on, I think that you could get away with just completely sizing down because there's a really nice amount of stretch in here. You got some decent compression too. So if you're looking for more of a moderate, almost leaning into a higher support legging, then Vital might be the one you just need in your life. The compression in the band is somewhat decent too. I wouldn't say it's heavy intense, but it's definitely there. I've done a million and one Vital reviews, including the 2.0. So if you need a full review, check out my other videos. But the real takeaway from this video, when it comes to the Vital, is it squat proof? Is the, are these new colors squat proof? Unfortunately, they're not. <laughs> This light of a purple where in some lighting you could look like it's almost on the white scale. No, I would give it like a 70, 75% squat proof. It is not to the point where it's see-through when I'm standing up, thank goodness. But when I'm really just squatting it down, yeah, you can see a pretty, pretty good amount of things you shouldn't be seeing. A newer thing we've been doing on this channel is a sweat test. I don't know if I've ever done a Vital 2.0 sweat test, but uh, well, we're about to right now. I hate getting soggy, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> is any sweat showing through? A little bit. It's 1.50 in the afternoon. Let's check back on this baby in a sec. While we wait for this to dry, let's talk about the sports bra. So the OG Vital used to be extremely low support when it came to the sports bra. Like I remember it was like feather light, such a low support. Now they've made the 2.0 with a little bit better supportive sports bra where it's more of a moderate support now, not as light and low. Still got that feather light feel. No adjustments, but you do have removable bra pads. Still extremely comfortable. What I love about the Vital Sports Bra is that it really does move with you. The material moves with you. So nothing's digging, nothing's pinching, nothing's restricting your movements. It's a very nice lightweight sports bra. Literally two minutes later, the sweat is gone. This is actually impressive because of how light of a color this is. It could definitely be worse in this color. I give it two thumbs up. Fun little fact in case you couldn't guess it for yourself, but the sorbet pink. Oh God. And the 
Moonstone Moral Vital <laughs> are a match made in cotton candy heaven. This is such a dreamy combination. I feel like, like a marshmallow. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. If there's any long sleeve crops that I'm looking at for Gymshark to work out in, it would be the Vital because it is so lightweight and stretchy. The one thing I don't like though, the one thing is, is this. You go like this and, and you're pretty, it rides up a little bit. Not to an uncomfortable, you know, it'll never just snap up and surprise the world. But nevertheless, it does shift up a little bit. If I'm really moving around in this long sleeve, it rides up and right here becomes like, it looks like I have like another set of traps. All right, so keep that in mind. It'll it, This will ride up on you, it's just the type of material. But um, I'm just gonna have to keep pulling it down if you're doing anything intense. But yeah, I don't feel any restriction like I do with the Adapt, like the camo long sleeves. Nice and breathable, lightweight, moves with you, just like the rest of the set. Again, it's super just subtle, the contour, very subtle set if you're over that whole camo print, animal print. You want just basics, like Vital, it's a supportive set, does the job, and really pretty solid colors to choose from that can all be intermixed. So I would always swear by the Vital. And I'm liking it more and more that I'm, that I'm like actually fitting in it better. So here's an example. If you don't have your right size, the wrinkle that will happen. I sized up in these shorts to a medium. My true size small, I noticed that in, in tight shorts, I like mediums because the cinching, I need a little more room around my thighs so that I'm not getting quad muffins and it just presses down into my cellulite and I'd rather do it out. So I always size up in these types of fitted shorts. This is my first time sizing up in the vital shorts and I'm not having a good time. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. Couple of things here. Number one, bands a little, it gapes ever so slightly because it's not my correct. And by ever so slightly, I mean it pretty much gapes like crazy. And the wrinkle, this is what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> you got that wrinkle crotch going on here. I hate to say it, but when it comes to vital shorts, I'm gonna have to stick to my true size small. But the truth is, if I do, I'm never gonna wear it. As it is, I, I, I still feel the cinching in my thighs to an uncomfortable amount. I'm thinking about it because I'm feeling it. You still get that cinch. Vital is just known for that. I don't know what it is. And this sorbet pink, even though I sized up and it's a little darker shade than the Moonstone Marl, it's still about the same sheerness. So you're looking at 70, 75% squat proof. I am not a big fan of the Vital shorts. I'm gonna say it right here and right now. These are not for me. Not my kind of shorts. All right, that concludes today's video. Comment down below your thoughts on the new releases. Also, who's shopping the sale? Like that's in two days from now, crazy. Not gonna lie, I'm actually super pleased with the variety that they're gonna be having on sale. I think there's a really good amount of newer items, which is great. I'm really pleased with the selection. And I think if there's anything that you've had your eye on for some time, now would be the time, time. <laughs> now would be the moment you wanna just capture that item. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, don't forget to hit up Jim Sharks giveaway for more chances to win, but do not get it twisted. We're gonna have a ton more giveaways to come on this channel as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. And again, thank you so much if you choose to support this channel during the Jim Shark sale. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.